I see they finally fixed the uh, button for live ch live chat top chat. Oh, okay. That was blank for like two weeks. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it was completely blank. You just had to know that the bottom box was the one you wanted. Did somebody say box? Ethan. Don't just stare at it. Eat it. All right. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Well, it's live for me. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I see it. No, I think Q's talking about the the top chat, live chat thing. So if anyone doesn't know or they haven't been around for a while, in the top left corner, you have to hit change it from top chat to live chat to actually see all the chat. Otherwise, it just selectively ignores a lot of people's comments. <clears throat> I don't know what algorithm it uses to decide what is top worthy and what is not, but... <laughs> Did you uh, see the meme? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> I laughed way more at this than I really should have. I don't know why. It's just the way it's written. <laughs> had. <laughs> Operative word being had. <laughs> uh, I just thought that was pretty good. Alright, let's see what else we got. And you know there's going to be no shortage of these. This, oh man. This is going to rival Christy for memes, I'm telling you right now. There is going to be so, because there's so much you can do with it. Because like, you know, when he gets to jail, let me see if I can do it. When he gets in jail, he's going to be getting the jello pudding pop. <laughs> uh, That's yeah. And next. You need a new job. Time to take the mic skills. Back to the dentist and buy yourself a new <laughs> Putting your ass in jail. <laughs> oh, Do you know he called the prosecutor an asshole? Really? After the verdict? I heard it. Yeah, I heard he was like really flipping his shit. But when uh, it was something to do with uh, uh, bail or something like that, he just like threw a tantrum and was cursing left and right in the courthouse, that's pretty funny. Uh, Alright, next. <laughs> this is funny, I don't know why. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just put the dick down. <laughs> that is pretty funny. That is fucking hilarious. Alright, and... Last but not least. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's really funny. <laughs> Kellyanne Kanye. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> There's some freaky shit right there. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Alright, I guess we're uh, ready for the intro. Yep. Alright, here we go. to you by Vaping Underground Live, featuring Vapor Joe. Uh, I am one of your hosts, uh, Vapor Joe. Tiger, Tiger. Hands to God, I am not. You can be the dark host in silence. Nitro Bex. Hey guys, this is Nitro Bex. Tiny Vapor. I don't want to get heated again because it just really, really pisses me off. And Smokey. I have one Smokey kid. Vaping's biggest giveaways. There's a lot to say about me. 
You can say that I'm mean. Biggest guests. You can say that I'm a bully. And biggest show. And for the most part, you would be right. Mod Envy starts now. I want to show him my toolbox. Which uh, show files again? Uh, yeah, that should work, sort of, kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of. Where the white women at? Hey, where are the white women? I lost my white woman. <laughs> All right, um, a question for you, because we are down Tiger, and I was going to be like, do you have the sheet for the giveaways, uh, scope or access to it? I think so. Let me... Because if uh, you do, yeah, because if you do, could you, I'll, I'll do the, you know, you just got to throw out, like, what we're giving away, and then I'll just do the rest. Uh, yeah, let me see. Where would I have that? All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, now, listen, uh, for those of you who are wondering where Tiger is, uh, due to the last week uh, issues that I had with the hospital and everything, uh, we are really behind. Uh, I was I was down a solid four days, so um, she uh, she has, you know, sh uh, food shopping to do and all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, she was pretty much with me the entire time, so we didn't get anything done for about four or five days. So it was either, you know, deal with everything uh tomorrow on a weekend and who the hell wants to do food shopping on the weekend uh or um and what have you or uh get it done tonight and miss the show so um i think uh, uh i think she uh, did it for uh, for the best but she'll she'll be back next week um now as far as nitro is concerned he's just late what else is new <laughs> you know so late late again all right so um let's let's go over what happened i'm sure some people want to know what the hell happened to me i posted something from the hospital and um so here's the situation on um what was it uh everything now you have to understand a lot of things are blurry for me right now i believe it was thursday or friday things weren't right and um i didn't feel good and um felt really weak and I wound up going to the hospital, and it turns out that there was a, a pretty bad internal bleed, but they couldn't find out where it was coming from, and they still haven't found out where it came from. It just stopped. Uh, but um, they believe it's coming from um, the reason why I bled was because of, uh, of my liver, uh, because I have something called portal hypertension, which basically means the um, it's like trying to take 40% of your blood goes through your liver, so. Um, it's like taking eight lanes of traffic and trying to put through and put it into two lanes of traffic. What happens is veins in your body, especially around your abdomen, will swell, and sometimes they can break. And if it breaks, you get a bleed. And uh, that's where they think we're at. And basically, I have to go to Newark and 
um, get assessed. Um, now it could go either way. I could either have just a you know really fucked up liver and just gonna have to baby for the rest of my life, or get a transplant. Um, but they don't know where I'm at right now. Uh, personally, I feel great. Uh, I have. If you didn't tell me I have had all these problems, I wouldn't believe it. I mean, there's. I have zero. Uh, I feel fine. I have appetite. I run around as best I can with my leg. Uh, I would have you so. You're not yellow. No, I'm not, I'm not you on this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, that's usually a big sign. Yeah, I'm yeah. not. Uh, I'm hoping that it's it's the kind of thing where they they you get to keep yours and it's just some you know a way they yeah. can just maintain it between medication and diet and that kind of thing. Well, you, you know, know I mean? if you um, look up on it, it's one of the only organs in the body that can regenerate itself. Yeah, the problem is diet is and they're stuff not like sure that. if my if my liver is at a point where it will regenerate anymore because what happens is the liver itself. Um, can regenerate if, if you have a certain amount of it but if you have enough cirrhosis or enough cirrhotic tissue the the you're in a what's known as a downward spiral you will succumb to it and you'll have to get a transplant because it will slowly start eating up the body to save itself oh. uh, and that's what happens and that's why you know even if you have a little bit of liver and you feel fine eventually it's going to take you because it's slowly going to die off little by little by little and they're just hoping i'm not there yet um now, uh, as far as what happened, the reason why they knew it was my liver was because I was anemic. Um, my, my hemoglobin was really low. My platelets are terrible. Um, I had to get transfused like three or four times. Um, and, uh, and, and that's that. But other than that, I feel fucking great. <laughs> now, are they going to put you on any kind of dialysis or anything no, like that? No, no, that's, that? that's kidney. Oh, kidney. Yeah. There's no the problem with liver is there's no liver medicine. Yeah. There's no there's no medication you can take to make your liver better. It's either it either it's fucked or it's not fucked. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, so it's one of the few organs they don't have any medication for. They have medication for, you know, your heart, your, your kidneys, everything, but so I can't take any uh, pain medication now. I can't take um, Almost all my medication I can't take anymore because it stresses the liver. So I'm pretty much uh, I'm on a controlled diet, which means I'll probably lose even more weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, before it was like, yeah, I want to lose weight, but you're, I, I feel like you're almost getting to the point where, like, okay, that was enough. Uh, don't need to lose anymore, you know. It's funny too because when I was when I went for my leg in August, I, I weighed 300 and some pounds. And the nutritionist was there, and of course she's like, "You're you're a fat pig, and you need to lose weight. And this is the way you got to do it." So she shows up again when I was in the hospital for for this time, and she's like, "I know you. You were here like last summer." I said, "Yeah." She goes, "Are you are, are you eating?" I said, "Yeah, I'm eating." Why? She goes, "Are, are you are you okay?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fine. I just lost a lot of weight. That's all." They're like trying to feed me like tons of food, and I'm just like, "Calm down, guys." <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, but right now, I, like I said, I feel great. Uh, I have no real, uh, you know, physical problems and symptoms that are coming out. So it's just more or less the uh, blood tests are saying, you know, something else. But it's that's that. And you know, poor Tiger has got a. She's my caregiver again, and all that other stuff. So that's that. All right, so now on to... Uh, well, okay. I just want to tell you, not to cut you off, mm. but, you know, every Thursday I go to... Um, I know I don't seem like it, but I go to Bible study, like, every Thursday night, and I put you on the prayer list, and my church has, like, 3,000 people in it, so you got a whole lot of people praying for you. Yeah, and, oh, that's the other thing. Uh, vaping community has been amazing. Um I got so many emails, so many instant messages, so many responses to what I wrote on Facebook. Um, you know, just people, you know, encouraging and stuff like that. And you know, t people are like, "Are you still going to do vaping?" I said, "Of course, I'm going to do keep doing vaping. I'm going to do. Sh I'm going to be doing this. Sh I'll do the damn show. For, if I'm dying, I'm doing the show from the hospital. You know what I mean? Because it's a positive influence for me. It gives me a lot of uh, a lot of." Uh, 
Just Focus. Good, good juju. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, the baby community has been really great. And, and I, uh, you, you know, appreciate the prayers. You're welcome. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you got That's, a whole lot of people praying for you. <laughs> a ton. You do. Yeah, I get, I get, I get, I get emails from friends that haven't talked to me in like 10, 10, 15 years. They're like, man, I'm so sorry. I'm like, listen, I'm, I, I don't have stage four cancer. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be around for a little while. Don't worry about it. You know, but they're, you know, very concerned. But you know, it's like, I'm still here. I'm going to be around a little while. You know, so uh, I don't want anybody to, uh, to worry. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot more to take you down. Yeah, definitely. All right, so uh, now we do have a lot of giveaways today, but our giveaway people are one's not here and one's late. So uh, we're going to have to deal with it the best we can. But we're going to get into vape mail because while I was in the hospital, I was bored. <laughs> so I ordered stuff. Uh, and uh, prior to the last show, I ordered a bunch of things too. Now we're going to start with Courtney and Scope because I have a lot of vape mail to talk about. Now, did you guys get anything? Um, I didn't get any vape mail, but I, I, um, I bought something off the, uh, like the, the, um, well, basically like when people, their shit gets compensated by the police, you know, they sell it, I went to a police auction. (laughs) So I bought, I got like a really nice, like diamond ring thing. That was my mail. Cool. Oh, hey, diamond ring. You just they, you just, ma- they mailed it to me. I want it in a bid. I can't believe that they sell all that shit. Hell yeah. All right. So um, now, if you guys haven't noticed, the juice is just coming down and down and down and down and down in price. So now, even though I have a boatload of juice, probably, I don't know, 50,000 milliliters of juice floating around this house somewhere. Um, from all the free samples and stuff. But I do buy a lot of juice, uh, especially when it's cheap. And so I went out and bought a whole bunch of it, and there's a few I really want to talk about. Uh, one is by um, Kylo, uh, and this is the Cow Series. This is called Coffee Milk. Uh, mm. Now, Kylo tends to be uh, a little bit on the more expensive side, but there was a deal. These 60 mils are only $10. Oh, I'm, everything is all lit up over here. You guys couldn't see any of what I just did. Um, uh, oh, you're going to have to deal with it. Uh, anyway, so it's Kylo, uh, the, um, the cow series, and it's called Coffee Milk. And basically, I don't know if you guys remember when you were kids and your parents would drink coffee. And if you were lucky enough, they'd make you a cup of coffee. Because they gave me coffee because it actually helps with, um, with uh, hyperactivity before you reach puberty. If you didn't know that, it works. Caffeine actually works the opposite for your puberty. <clears throat> and um, so they'd give me coffee milk, which is 50% coffee, 50% milk, and whatever sweetener. And it's good. And this is exactly what this tastes like. I have it here. I just put it in today. And the uh, mom, the tiger, got me. And uh, it is just so good. Let's see the mod, man. Can I show this yet? Oh, Can I show this mod? I don't think so. This was the mod that Tiger bought me. Um, oh, yeah, that's nice. No, I think you showed, Why like, you can so buy different? it, but you didn't show, like, that you got it. All right, I'm, I'm going to lower the... You know what it is? My screen is really bright. Let me lower my screen. All right, I went downstairs, and I brought up absolutely no batteries, so I'll be right back. I'm going to mute myself. I actually did get vape milk, believe it or not. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, well, you remember during the show last week, I brought up... You you had mentioned a deal on batteries, and then I brought up chocolates, and then you decided to just kind of on the fly pimp uh, from the same vendor a chocolate deal, if you remember. Uh, so I got four of those, so they, they showed up. Oh, um, cool. And then not not vaping related, but you and I just did a, 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 a 180. So you were like team iPhone forever, and I was always team Android, <laughs> and then you just switched to Android. Well, I just fucking <laughs> got an iPhone. <laughs> Which one? Uh, 8 Plus. Oh, it's a nice phone. It's heavy. <coughs> it has substance. 
Well, the, the main reason was it was a couple things. One, um, Oreo broke a ton of shit as far as like the smart home apps that I use and stuff. I mean, they just they're just like Google's been kind of going in a weird direction lately. So they're like kind of changing a lot of shit that fucks the developers. So I didn't really like that. Um, and but more probably importantly is. Every single person in the family and all the guys in my band. So basically, everyone that I communicate with on a regular basis is iPhone, which means I message, which just me, you know, FaceTime, all that. Cause so it's just, it's just kind of easier just to be in that circle, I guess, with yeah. them, so that the I messages sync across. And uh, I kind of pimped out my Hackintosh. So this machine dual boots OS X and and. Um, Windows 10, so I've been, like, during the day when I'm working, I, I'm running on the OS X side, so I get all the handoff continuity stuff, so I can answer the phone, like, if someone calls my cell, I can answer with, with this desktop, and, you know, if someone texts me, I can reply, it's just, you know, that kind of stuff is just super convenient, so... Yeah, I have both. I have an iPhone 8 Plus, and I have the Pixel 2. And I'm kind of doing the same thing, like, basically, there's no card in this, but I still have this up and running. And there's still like a couple of apps that are Android specific that I run on here. Um, for one, for example, is uh, for work we use um, they use IRC. And Do you guys still use the IRC? Yeah, for for work the the real hardcore engineers like the guys that never see the light of day, they're all on IRC. So that's how you have to get them. And uh, I run something called IRSSI, which is a command line, you know. Um, chat client and basically there's a I have a notifier there's a notifier app for Android so if someone likes types at cscop or whatever uh, my phone will beep so that's one of the things that I'm still I still keep this powered up on Wi-Fi and on my desk charged so that if someone messages me I can I can still I still know because there's no real equivalent for the iPhone so like you know it's it's still handy to have it and use it for running specific Android apps you know uh, there's a couple other have... apps that uh, that are like that. So, it, like you said, it's kind of nice having both, even if only one has a SIM. The uh, it's still I can still run the apps and do most of the stuff. So, all right, um, fix the screens. All right, yeah, give me a second. Oh, uh, good, just in time. Um, all right, so um, now getting back to um, I know, sorry guys, we geeked out on you. <laughs> um, and how and how did I stop to geek out? Is what I want to know. You know what happened is it drew you in. Well, now we're talking about geek stuff, and we drew you into the show. I just finally got off work. Oh, okay. How you feeling, brother? Uh, good, good. I'll, 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 uh, I already talked about this, but uh, I'll, I'll hit talk you, to you after the show. Yeah. Uh, now, um, as far as other uh, stuff, I got um, my Freedom Smokes was running a very cool sale. Uh, it's called the Aspire Speeder Kit. Um, this is a 200 watt box mod. It comes with the uh, Arrow, uh, the Arrow Tank. Uh, it's really, really nice. I um, now I haven't used it yet, but I took that, looked at it. Uh, it was twenty nine ninety nine. So I was like, you know what? I'm getting a tank and I'm getting the the mod. Uh, it takes two eighteen six fifties. I said, screw this. I'm gonna get it. Uh, they only had it in silver and pimp gold. I already have enough pimp gold mods, so I got this one in silver. Uh, this was a deal I put up a while ago, and. Uh, I had to take advantage of it. It was really good. Uh, then I went to Fast Tech and I bought some Decang. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I bought Decang because I still DK that Tab. Thing. No, I didn't get DK Tab this time. Um, I wow. don't know if you guys remember uh, your first juice that you really enjoyed. Well, I think you probably don't vape it anymore. But if you can, go back and try uh, and get it and vape it. It will bring back so many memories of when you were a new vapor. It's crazy. And the one I vaped a lot when I was a new vapor, one was DK Tab, and the other was uh, DK Rum. This is a rum-flavored uh, e-juice, and of course it's the classic Decang uh, bottle. And it's just it just floods back old memories from like 2012, 2011, and uh, it's just really, really good stuff. Now, uh, people are like, ew, Chinese juice. Listen, China invented e-juice, okay? If it wasn't for them, you wouldn't have the e-juice you're vaping on now. Uh, and I trust Decang uh, when it comes to juice because they actually have a really nice lab. They were the first 
uh, EG's company to actually have a lab. If you go on uh, YouTube, they actually have a guy who goes through their whole lab and they have like tons of people with gear and stuff that they did. And we're talking 2012, 2013, they were doing this. So that's that. I got some Kang. Um, I picked up a few of those new um, uh, smoke. Uh, oh, what's the new one? Uh, the um, it's it's the Prince. It's it's the new Prince. Um, damn it. The thingy plus. No, no, no. It's uh, it just came out. Um, it has like the whole honeycomb top. Uh, God, it's driving me crazy. Uh, anyway, I bought a few of those, uh, and I pre-ordered those uh, on um, on Fast Tech, and um, I just got those. No, it's not the Priv guys. This is a, this is a tank. Um, the Prince. There it is, the Risa. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the, the Smoke uh, Prince Risa. They're really really nice. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the problem with these new tanks, if you guys have noticed, the heads are getting super expensive. Like, they don't even sell them in packs five anymore. Sometimes they even sell them, like, it's like $6 for one. It's fucking ridiculous. But, I mean, they're insane. If you see the setup inside these 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 replacement heads, they're crazy. It's like the olden days, back paying brick-and-mortar prices. You know, but they last a long time, too. They're not, like, the ones you're going to throw away in a week. They last a long time. I'm actually vaping the Takang on a uh, Reaper tank. I don't know remember how old this tank is. This is a Reaper tank. Oh, God. No, I remember uh, Reaper and I put it on this because it matches the white um, uh, uh, paper oh. flash. Fucking Joe's running into my colors. Oh, I love that. That tastes so good. Okay, uh, and let's see. Did I get anything else? I bought batteries. Um, yeah, I believe it was Fuggin that was running a deal uh, $4.99 for, uh, for um, Samsung 25Rs. I picked up a few of those. Picked up chocolates, but I haven't gotten them yet. And then I got a basin. Uh, one of these bad boys. My six six fifty, for my favorite flex. That. Uh, so I think that's it. All kinds of shit. Yep. All right. So let's do a giveaway now. Uh, Nitro. Unfortunately, Tiger's not here. So you're gonna have to. Um, I got you. I mean. Do you, uh, want to do, the, do you want to do the verbiage as well, or do you just want to do what you normally do? I can do everything if you need me to. All right, cool. Do it all, baby. This ain't my first rodeo. You act like I ain't done this before. No, I know. It's just I asked if you want to. I didn't say if you I can. don't care. Okay, go on. I got scope producing, so it's, it's, it's easy for me now. Um, but what are we going to give away? I mean, you've talked about so much there. I mean, you just got a new smoke mod, right? Yes, the Priv 3, T-Priv 3. And you got a new smoke tank, right? Yes. And you said it's like the Prince, so tell me more about that tank you got. Because, you know, the fuck's the tank? I don't understand tanks. Uh, basically, it's um, there's a couple of good things about this particular tank. Uh, one, is this, a, is this a segue or do you really need, need me to do all this? This is Segway, but I'm working on it, too. Okay. Uh, I don't know shit about tanks. I don't know about this new tank you got. All right. Well, the cool thing about this particular tank is, you know the cl classic smoke tanks, they just turn? Yeah. This actually has a button you push, and now you turn it, which is so much better because it was such a pain in the ass to sometimes get that top to turn. Uh, also, the, the glass is, like, wider than the actual tank. Uh, and uh, the heads on these things are incredible. And then, of course, it comes with the awesome drip tips, these, like, honeycomb <coughs> uh, drip tips. And that's the one that comes after the prints, right? This is, no, this is the, this is the, oh, God, there's so many of them. This is the prints. Uh, then you had, the, you had the beast line. Now we're on the prints line. Okay. So the beast line was big. Is this small? Uh, no. No, I like think it's, it's, a, it's not a baby kit. No, it's not a baby tank. No, you don't need to like hit it with a magnifying glass to see it. No. I so like, I smoke, smoke. I smell a bad transition. A smoke <laughs> mag baby kit would not be a good way to call that tank. A smoke <laughs> mag baby. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it a smoke mag baby. Tank. Well, why don't we fucking give away a smoke mag baby kit then? Okay, let's let's look it up. Uh, uh, by whom? 
by a 101 vape. Okay. The fast tech of America. Yes, it does. Can people hear me? Do I sound like a robot? Because y'all sound like robots. No, you sound good. What? Every now and then, Joe's like, say, well, I will the battery. Cool. I, yeah, here, exactly. Here. It's like an old Foo <laughs> movie. Like, <laughs> sorry, you I'm give so me my... I've done this I'm too often, I can fake it. <laughs> yeah. I used to love those. I'm coming at... The- yeah, the really funny will. dubbed uh, karate movies from back in the day. It's like they didn't even try to line that shit up. <laughs> it was funny. Okay. I you guys are so 101 Vape this week is giving away the Smoke Mag Baby Kit. Uh, this is the one that has like the pistol style grip. I'm not... No, it's smaller. Right, but the, the fuck's tank? I don't know what tank's on top of it, so you're going to have to have one of the uh, other guys tell you about that shit. I'll tell you right now. Uh, the baby has the uh, the two mil uh, baby prints. So it's going to be basically this, but a little smaller. It's going to have just a... It, it, the funny thing is, instead of... What they did is they actually got smarter. What they did is... Uh, all they did was basically make the glass shorter. They didn't change the actual... Um, tank itself usually when you get like a, a like a, a, a like the baby beasts and all them they actually they change the size of the tank here they just yep. change the glass uh so um it's just the same thing but uh at least smaller. i think it is just a little smaller well over at fast or oh, i keep on calling them fast tech because they're actually fast and cheap <laughs> have you seen the new smoke mod the double king kit the du- double king Devil Kin. Wow, is that by Smoke? Yeah. Smoke Devil Kin. Yeah, it's red and black. It looks kind of Sith. It reminds me of like the uh, Emperor. It's not like the H Priv that has the fucking honeycombs all over it. Oh, I, I'm looking at it now. <coughs> oh, yeah. It's kind of has like a like a kind of a concave on the side. Yeah. <coughs> they are really running with this style. Yeah. The whole. It like, actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. It looks like an upgrade to the alien. I um, just want anybody, everyone to know that if you see me like this, it's, I'm not a junkie. I have allergies. So <laughs> I have to go like... That's what they all say. <laughs> Babe, I have a... You should try a little of that Flonase. That helps a lot with that. Well, I'm just letting everyone know just in case. They're like, damn, she's sniffing a lot. Oh, and I just want to let, uh, speaking of junkies, and, and I'm not saying CBD's junkies people or anything like that, but any mention of CBD live on YouTube these days will get you banned. Uh, what do you mean? And, and you just did it. No, I'm, I'm, giving, a, I'm giving a notice about oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> who, who is? But, uh, I if, won't say the word, but who, all right. Is there a reason? Um, they're just, they're against because you. YouTube. Yeah. So any mention of CBD, oh. uh, as far as <laughs> products, and <coughs> talking about that kind of liquid can get you banned or flagged on YouTube. Uh, there was a big thing that came out, a whole bunch of people, a uh, bunch of channels. Strikes, uh, fucking bans, deletions of channels. Is that, yeah, but I mean, is that like um, a... Uh, no, it's legal. It's just... No, but I mean, I don't know what if, if it stands for something. So uh, I don't. I, Scope will fill you in later, off air. Yeah, we yeah, don't want to talk to about it, it on air. So I don't know. It's very bad. We hate it. <laughs> we right. would never talk about it. We don't like it. It's bad. Oh my god. Bad yeah, things happen right. to you. Blah blah blah. All right. Anyway, next subject. All right. So anyway, back to one on one babe. Um, we got our winner while you're still talking about them. We got John M has won. Congratulations, nice. John M. Uh, Axel's going to put a link in there for you. Uh, what you need to do is email prizes at 101vape.com. Prizes at 101vape.com. Include what you want, your screen name, your real name, your address, and any options. You have won the Smoke Mag Baby Kit from 101 Vape. Everybody, make sure you go over to check out 101 Vape at www.101vape.com. And you'll be able to get there because they pay more for than a dollar for hosting. Yes, and uh, right now, if their stupid scroller would go any faster, holy shit. Hold on, let me reload the page. Uh, uh, use coupon code BIG40 again. Coupon code BIG40 
will take 40% off all e-juice on the site. That's a great deal, guys, because, uh, you know, I mean, you figure a bottle of juice, some of them are like $12.99, $13.99 for 100 mils. You take 40% uh, off that, you got juice for days. Uh, also, what what's up with this new um, UL, uh, it's like a, a stick mod. Well, not a stick. It's kind of like reminds me of an AIO, but it's the super, nunchuck it, starter kit. It's like super expensive. It's like seventy bucks. Look at the bottom of it. It reminds me of the Vamo. Tell me that shit doesn't remind you of the Vamo if you I, zoom I, I'm in on the bottom. I'm trying to get back to it. It's a fucking thing. His his scroller is like, it goes like. Why don't I just put a link for you in the room? That would be the easiest. If, thing. if it works. <laughs> Come on, YouTube. You can do it. Lincoln Room. Remember, you can bitly it if it breaks it. Oh, there it goes. Now right, there it is. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Why the hell is that 70 bucks? Uh, look at the bottom of it. Yeah. What they did was they got a hold of all the old Young June lava tubes. They flipped <laughs> them upside down. You're buying a piece of nostalgia there. 60 bucks is... Jeep you could for... you could buy a lava tube right now, the the newer one made of metal for nine ninety nine of all games. Oh. They'll sell them. Oh uh, god! That's funny. Well, no, I'm not talking about the real lava tube. I'm talking didn't about the young like, June they one. Have fifteen whole watts. <laughs> no, fifteen watts, five volts. They had ten. Uh, I, oh yeah, well, I'm, I'm, yeah. This is three wattage days. Oh man, yeah. Um, well, my first, I, that's like my first MVP was bolts only. But I know it equi it came out to work out so that it wouldn't really push more than 11 watts. Or something like that, yeah. So when 15 watt mods came out, it was like, ooh, four more, four more whole watts. <laughs> Dude, I remember when we could put a kick in things. In oh, that I, I, actually, oh, well, I, I have a kick. I have a legit kick, too. I, I used it like once. I don't know what made me buy it. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what a kick is, a kick is basically when the tube mods, the the, the, the regular old uh, mechanical tube mods that just took a battery, you can put a kick in it, and basically... Which is a little circuit board. Yeah, a little round circuit board that would be as round as your uh, 18650, and it would turn that into a wattage mod. Which you would have to completely open it up, pull your battery out, pull, slide the thing out, and get a screwdriver out if you wanted okay. to raise or lower your wattage. Yes. <laughs> and it went up to 11. Yeah. The but this kick, one goes know. to 11. <laughs> All right. So anyway, but have, have you? can you tell me why this is so expensive? Because it's so ugly and looks like nothing more than, say, an AIO with a little, with a little wattage added to it. PT Barnum? I don't know. Uh, maybe. Um, excuse me, Craig. Yes, babe. I. Your She's windows are screwed up. She's got to poop. Wait, let me play the sound. I'm gonna take a shit. <laughs> I can hear all of you talking, plus the everything I can hear, and it, I'm either psychotic or something's wrong. Oh, you probably have the the. Uh, you're probably getting an echo, right? Um, I gotta... Hold on. Video's unmuted. I'm coming on. Give me a second. It takes a few seconds. Okay, so uh, anyway, so guys, head over to 1018.com. They've always got a ton of good shit. Uh, again, I'm going to push the miss, uh, the Majesty kit. They have them there for $39. One of the finest mods, in my opinion. It looks absolutely stunningly gorgeous. I actually have one. Oh, it's not here with me. Um, it's in the living room. Um... But uh, just a great mod for 39 bucks. Uh, and uh, anyway, they have a ton of shit over there. Go over there. Again, use coupon code BIG10. I'm sorry, BIG40. And it'll get you 40% off all their e-juice. Incredible deal. Okay, thanks. Hold on, babe. Let me uh, fix. You. you lost the, the pop-out chat somehow. Oh, that was horrible. I heard Joe. <coughs> oh, I can't hear anybody either again. Hold on. We're not talking right now. Can you hear me? Oh my god, Apparently this not. is so slow to remote control. Alright, Nitro, so what else we got? So where's Tiger tonight? 
Oh, okay. Uh, because of what happened to me, we were behind like four days. So she's just making up for lost time. Because she was with me almost the entire time. Uh, so we couldn't get any, you know, any of the house stuff done. Bills and grocery shopping and, and all the necessities and things like that. So she's doing that now. You sure she's not laying in the bedroom, just going to, like, ravage you when you're done? She was, like, too hot and bothered to be here now that you're out of the hospital. Y'all Dude, that would some... be fucking awesome. Oh, Dude. She, she's like, uh, because I can't leave, so she could be doing anything right now. So I go, I, I get out, and I'm done. I just walk into the bedroom, and she's there, all, like, dolled up. That'd be fucking crazy. That'd be awesome. But my question <laughs> is, since... To watch this broadcast. Since she's getting, or since you're getting older and you're falling apart, mm-hmm. if she were to just ravage you, wouldn't she break your dick? You would be just in there with some broke dick. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! That's fucking. Oh hilarious. god. Are you okay, Scope? Could, it could happen. I oh, don't know. Can you? I'm hear trying. Me? It's just really. Yep, yeah, I can. Hear, I can hear you good. My remote control is just crazy slow right now. I'm not sure why. All right. Um, now, uh, go heading over to Broke Dick, they have new flavors there, which we can't talk about. But uh, we can talk about certain flavors. Um, now, of course, when you go over there, it's always uh, 240 mils for $23 for re-shipping. Now, um, the one thing I love about uh, their site is uh, the simplicity. <laughs> the simplicity. Um, they have really great flavors. And they don't have a ton of flavors, okay? And people are like, well, that's a sign of a bad juice maker. No, it's not. It's actually a sign of a great juice maker. Because if you have 5,000 flavors, you can't really concentrate on, on, uh, on you know, a lot. You know, go with what you know. You know, some juice vendors, like, look at Ned Murdoch. He had, like, four flavors. The guy became a millionaire. And one um, of them tastes like Dirty Hippie. Yeah, that's right. Um, so... The juices they do have, they have one I don't like, and that's not because it's bad. It's because I hate cereal vapes, and um, that would be layaway. But if you like cereal vapes, you're going to love this. So let's go over the lineup. Uh, they have Dollar Menu, which is a um, a wonderful uh, lemon cream cake, like maybe a little uh, angel food in there. Then they have Bankroll Number Six. Now Bankroll Number Six is not a 120. That is uh, the limited edition. This looks more like a um, kind of like a kiwi um, pineapple cheesecake. That's what it looks like. This is one of the bank rolls I didn't I didn't get because I'm just not a fan of kiwi babes. Uh, then they have, of course have Overdraft, which is their version of an RY4 for you tobacco vapors out there, which is a uh, really great combination of vanilla, caramel, and tobacco. Uh, then they have Water Cup, which is um, just various fruits, things like uh, strawberries and blueberries, raspberries, and things like that. And then they have Prepaid, another one, another fruity vape. Uh, I would say it's pretty much the same thing, minus the pineapple. Uh, and then they have Payday, uh, which is probably their most uh, aggressive juice. It's uh, There's banana, there's caramel, there's cream. It's very good. Uh, and then... The 15th, which used to be a, a, um, a bankroll flavor, which is a, um, a one of their first bankroll flavors, which is what we call Fat Elvis. Um, it's a peanut butter pie, you know, just absolutely everything you want. In, 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 I love anything in. peanut butter. Now, there's something. Uh, let's I'm see. a peanut butter whore. Uh, let me go to their 60 millimeter. Okay. Now, they do have some bankrolls uh, right now that are new. Uh, they have number seven, which is a rainbow sherbet. Again, these are 60 mil bottles. Uh, for those of you out there who love your sherbet flavors, I'm one of those people. And here's one I want to try because it sounds so unique. Another tobacco flavor, bankroll number eight. It's coconut, almonds, and tobacco. That would be very interesting. I just, the well, problem is, is this could go either way. This is going to be an awesome vape, or it's going to suck. And I'm going to be stuck with 60 mils of shitty juice if I don't like it. What do you think? Who's a tobacco vapor out there? <laughs> Nitro? I'm going to have to reboot her. She's, uh, what's a cream? She what's a tobacco? All right, let's see here. Let me see what the audience says. Where are we at here? What 
the audience saying out there? What do you guys think? Could it They're be saying it's a very slight tobacco, mostly on the exhale. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got people out there. Okay, okay great. Uh, all right. Now, tonight, they're giving away, what, 600 mils to the lucky winner? Five one twenty. All right, I was, that's right. 600 mils uh, to one lucky winner. Yep, and that lucky winner is Rat Racer 5895. Congratulations. Please email winners at modenvy.net. Winners at modenvy.net. Include what you've won, your screen name, your real name, your address, and any options. You have won five 120s from brokedick.com. Everybody else, please make sure to go over brokedick.com and check out all the greatest deals. Now, uh, this is not a deal, but there's something I like to bring up every show, and for good reason. Uh, Vape News Magazine is giving away a free subscription. Now, an example of some of their articles, uh, I didn't even know this, but uh, it was about two weeks ago, they put out an article about the deeming regulations. Did you know that everything, basically vaping, is not going to be regulated except juice? Coils, tanks, batteries, drip tips, uh, mods, all are not going to be enforced. Did you know this? I haven't heard that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I thought there, the, I thought they wanted to say that every single thing was a vaping accessory. It's like battery. It's a va <laughs> vaping accessory. You know what? I will uh, actually. I actually got this from a friend, and it's over at Vape News. Um, hold on, I have to find it. Oh my god, I, I'm gonna have to run up. This, this, this is, this, I don't know what is going on, but this thing is just, it's High Sierra being shitty again. It's Mac, what do you expect? Oh, Sierra's phenomenal. It's just, High Sierra, there's, there's some really major graphics bugs. Um, they still haven't fixed yet. Now, where are you? This is a really, really cool uh, article. Um, So many people send me spam. Sorry, <laughs> right, guys, for the dead air here. I'm just to... I cannot find it. I haven't read it, or was I would help you out. I'm sorry, man. So what we're looking for is apparently I got Vape it. News Magazine has shown where they've changed the demon regs. Here we go. This is it. Uh, all right. This is from this is from the um, from the FDA. Okay. Um, it says examples of components or parts of, uh, for which the FDA does not intend to enforce. Uh, the submission requirement of section 904 blah 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 uh, at this time but are not limited to the following electronical components software digital displays lights buttons adjustable settings connection adapters cartomizers coils wicks tanks and mouthpieces so all that they didn't say batteries what's that no, it says, oh, well, I'm wrong. It says electrical components including, but not limited to, batteries, charging systems, circuit okay. boards, wiring, and connectors. So basically mods, uh, wicks, coils, changers, as Courtney would call them, cardos. I love how they put cardomizers in there. Like, people are out there buying cardomizers. Dude, I would, I'd venture to say cardomizers are still the number one vape well, I'll be honest with sold you, if, in the world. If it came to it that all I could vape on is a cardo, I mean, I'd still use, I'd still vape. I mean, I vape cardomizers for years, so but that wouldn't bother me. Uh, but, uh, of course, they're going to do the, the EG stuff. And I don't know anything about the flavor thing yet, uh, hearing their, their kind of fan, you know, flavors and what have you like that. So, anyway. So, uh, anyway, head over to Vape News Magazine. Go to the top of the page, okay? And you will see subscribe for free, okay? Now, I have 
use this. It works. I got. I, I, they send me a, a free subscription anyway. But um, I just wanted to see if this worked, so now I get two. Uh, but it works. All you do is you fill it out and you, you do a survey. It's like six questions. Uh, it's like, you know, your best, favorite, favorite company, blah, 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 blah. And then that's it. And you will get yourself a subscription. And I'm telling you, it's a great magazine. And, uh, you know, it's just freaking awesome to get it for free. Every vapor should have this magazine. Every vapor. Sorry. All right. Sorry. I had to throw that in there. Sorry guys, I my head like it, I had this thing where I could hear all of you talking plus the music, so I felt like I was either schizophrenic or something was really wrong. Turns out something I schizophrenia. That's okay. <laughs> Top of the many other things that are wrong with me. Is it roses are red, violets are blue? I'm a schizophrenic, and so am I. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> So I got questions for y'all. Y'all know what Dunkaroos are, right? Oh my, Dungarees or Dungaroos? Dunkaroos. No, I, I, I well, I've heard of them. I don't know what they are. I heard of Dungarees. Y'all seriously don't know what Dunkaroos are? If it's if it's if it's like sweet stuff, I I, I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, do you know what animal crackers are? Yes. Well, yeah. here's what I wanted to know. For the people that out there that know what Dunkaroos are, if you just take animal crackers and you get a thing of, like, Heinz, like, or not Heinz, the fucking cake company, Dunkin' Heinz, fucking icing, can you just, like, make your own Dunkaroos? Oh, okay. So basically it's it's those cookies that you – it's almost like, what, like, um, like cheese crackers but with cookies and frosting. Yeah. That's awesome. Now you're going to make me want some fucking Dunkaroos. <laughs> well, I know where you can get some to vape. And that's even better because it doesn't... It doesn't um... No calories. That's right. No calories. Let me guess. Isig, uh, Isig Outpost. Yep. You know how I knew it was from Isig Outpost? And <laughs> because Outpost you was... haven't heard of it before. Uh, yeah, exactly. Anything weird. It's good. It's Tony Monty made it. That's the way I look at it. Like, who, who would make a juice for Dunkaroos? Let's face it. Now, <laughs> sounds delicious, but who would have thought of that? You know, it's like, oh, let's make a Dunkaroos. Oh, by the way, remember you were talking about last week or the week before the um, the Nerd Vines? Yeah. Finally saw them. Took the cup over to uh, <laughs> Playtime America, and they, they were selling them there. I'm like, that's what Nitro was talking about. <laughs> yep. All right, so uh, Dunkaroos. Uh, so I'm assuming it's like a vanilla cookie with a chocolate icing. No, it's uh, it's like a graham cracker animal type cookie, okay, with a vanilla icing. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Sounds good anyway. Now, if if, if Tony's making it, it's going to taste exactly the way it sounds. Right. For those of you out there who haven't ordered from Music Outpost, yes, Music Outpost could be a little bit on the expensive side. However, the uh, fucking good. You you know there are certain juices. There are reason why some juices cost. 120 mils, you know, you could get, some people are selling 120 mils now for $6, you know, and then you have other people selling, you know, 30 or 40 mils, I mean, uh, 30 or 60 mils for, you know, $15, because these these flavors are hard to to replicate, okay, uh, that's why Mad Murdoch sells, you know, the prices he sells at. Because it's nobody can replicate them. They've tried and tried and tried and they just there's always something missing. And it's just not quite the same. I remember when Man Murdoch's fluid came out, everybody tried to clone it. There was oh forty yeah. seven different versions of it. You wanna yeah. know what? Nobody got it right. Nope. No, no. Um so uh same thing here with uh with, with Tony. Uh he takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and puts it into his juice and uh Nine times out of ten, I'm going to say nine, because I'm not going to give them 100%, because I don't think anybody out there is 100%. But nine times out of ten, whatever it says it's going to be, it is. And uh, so um, definitely try them out. Now, uh, right now, they have a coupon code, a TY25. Again, TY25 will get you 25% off uh, your order over there. And I believe a few lucky winners are going to get a 50% off coupon. Three of them. And, in fact, I've already pulled them. We got Sunshine with a Y, 524, Ozium, and Aussie. Now, I do believe his is U.S. only, so you might have some difficulty shipping if you don't have a Dropbox. 
Well, I was going to say, I'm sure Tony would uh, ship you the win if you paid the ship. You know, I don't think that would be a problem. So, um... <laughs> hey, is Chunk in the room? Yeah, Chunk's in the room. Chunk, did you get your get? Did you get your damn prize I sent you? Rick, did you even let me know? <laughs> I sent them all kinds I, of stuff. I'm trying to find. I ordered something, and I'm trying to show you guys what I ordered. Can't figure it out. Yeah, I sent Chunk. He's like, he hits me up. He's like, man, I don't have. I'm missing so much stuff. I sent them a DNA mod. Did you send uh, them any soda? No, no. Basically, I tried to get everything I could in a uh, padded flat rate envelope because it's expensive. You get you can just chock full whatever you can fit in there costs thirty four bucks. He said, "Yeah, he got it yesterday. He messaged you." Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, the well, I know it's pretty sad because I know he likes his sweets and I know yeah. he likes his beverages. And over there, he can't get you know all the you know types of sodas and stuff we have over here, like. Next time, you gotta find a way to fit a six pack in, into the padded envelope. You know, just a six pack of all kinds of different sodas. If you can't fit a six pack, you gotta fit like a four pack. Like, kind of like the four pack of liquids you can get from Brew Premier City. E liquids. Well, no, you get a six pack from Brew City. Oh. Uh, Premier, if you go with their past timeline, it's only four flavors, and they're all based around specialty drinks. Bingo. Hey, real quick, Chunk, that DNA 75 I sent you, it's no longer made. You can't get it. It's Vol Volcano stopped making their DNAs. Uh, and this is the DNA, uh, uh, I forget, the, the Volcano. Um, it's a really cool mod because it only uses a single uh, battery. It's really, really cool. Um, hmm. Might be worth some money one day, Chunk. Think of me when you sell yeah. it. All right, real quick, I found what I bought this week. Because you know how I go to like those Burning Man things, uh -huh. and I'm I hate porta potties, so I ordered this. It's for women. <laughs> it's so you can pee like a man. You just put that like it's on your the vagina. She yeah, <laughs> and then you can just pee like that. Yeah, it's called a she -wee. I love it. I just ordered it. In I'm other like, words, you're converting your snub nose into a rifle. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to use it. Because... You better watch out, Scope, when you're sleeping. She's going to use that shiwi on you. Oh, God. <laughs> he doesn't come with me. I go with my Talking friends. Talking about when he's sleeping at home. Oh, yeah. Um, but I'm excited to get that. It's so it's it's great for camping. Come on. Who wants to wait in the line? Yeah, and who wants to be in the forest, like, you know, cop in the squad? I know. So do they have one for girls if they have to do uh, the other thing? I, You know, I don't know. But I <laughs> haven't seen it, and I don't want it. Joe, did you get the memo? <laughs> girls don't poop. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to take a shit. That's fucking stupid. I'm going to take, I'm gonna take a shit. All right, but, anyway, um, before this yeah. gets gross. Um, <laughs> I wasn't going to make it gross. I was just going to show you what I got, what I ordered, because I forgot. And I so think that's awesome. We're doing Brew City, and if you're a female and drink a lot of beer, like an entire 12-pack, you, you might need a she <laughs> I've transitioned twice now, Joe. I can't no, do no, much No, 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 no. Chunk just hit me up with something. Um... Okay, so uh, use coupon code mod envy and the uh, two five and the percent sign again. Mod envy two five percent sign will get you twenty five percent off over at brewcityjuice.com, Um Tonight they're giving away about a six pack, a twelve pack, a uh, twelve pack. Oh, keep For the low low price of one dollar, I do believe they are U.S. only though. Right now you were talking about the drinks, the specialty drinks. Yeah, this past timeline. There's only four flavors in it. See, that's the one thing I do like about about companies like that. They'll come out with a new line and put like three or four, you know, and that's it. I like that. Um, and of course, they have their original line, the Bruce City Juice line, uh, that's been around. I mean, I think I think we uh, we introduced them here on Mod Envy when they first came out a um, long, long, long time ago. And uh, you wouldn't believe how many people Mod Envy helped push in the very beginnings of their uh, of their. Uh, you know, starting a business. We did 101. We, we have a lot. Remember, we had a lot of them that also died too. Remember that guy. Remember that guy. The casket one. The 
casket one? No, the funniest was the uh, I, that was with the, the show forever was the and I can't even remember the name was those mods the touch mods. There were two mods. Oh, you, save or touch. Yeah, but like they were like like oh. that was like the official mod envy mod for a while. Oh yeah, <laughs> sir, sir. Uh, so, um, yeah, it was Vapor Moon, and uh, I think it was Sir Lawrence. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I still have my pimp stick. I think still works great. I have he my Mod not, Envy edition Saber Touch somewhere. Yeah, there was a Mod Envy edition. Yeah, he shut it down a long time ago, though. He stopped uh, He stopped making mods. But uh, his he was very innovative. I don't know why he shut down, but probably because they were expensive, because he had to hand make every single one of them. Well, that and due to the nature of it, you were very limited on what wattages you could run. So anyway, um... Remember that guy we had, we shut down? I, he was doing, this is a long time ago. We're talking 2014, guys, 2013, long before this was anything anybody's ever done. He did 10 mils for a buck. Oh, God. Yeah. We blew <laughs> him up so much. Now, this is back in the day when Mod Envy got, like, you know, a thousand Thousands. viewers. Uh, and um, he, he, he got blown up so much with his orders, he had to shut down all his brick and mortars. It put him out of business. <laughs> Too much business actually put him out of business. That's funny. That was great. I remember Peepa Sardo comes on. And, and Tiny takes off her shirt. Tiny, Tiny's, Tiny Vapor is like fixing her shirt. And, and all you do, uh, now this was before the show started. Tiny's getting ready, whatever. And she just kind of adjusts her shirt. She didn't, he didn't get to see anything, but she's just adjusting. She was wearing a low-cut shirt. And you just see Peep Sardo, he's like, the <laughs> <laughs> music show are just like. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was that was a that was a good one. All right, anyway, so let's do this. We've scrolled enough. Uh, one lucky winner is gonna win uh, a twelve pack for a buck. Squirrel. No, I did not already pull it. Well, let's fix it. And the lucky winner is. Can't get a drum roll. <laughs> I love how, like, the drummer is the one that doesn't do the drum roll. <laughs> I'm too busy air drumming to the this intro. It's Becca23. Becca. Thank you, Becca23, for watching Mod Envy. Please contact Bruce Eddie at sales at BruceCityJuice.com. BruceCityJuice.com. Include oh what God. you want, your screen name, your real name, your address, any options, a 12-pack of Brew City No Name for $1. Everybody else, make sure you go over and check out BrewCityJuice.com. Sorry, was a, I'm, that was a crash and burn. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. Sometimes oh. I'm not the most cunning of linguists. You, know, want to talk about, <laughs> you want to talk about scrolling? You guys ever hear one of these? Yes. Yes. These are cool as fucking hell. Everybody okay. buy one. No. Is it the water infuser? Yeah, yeah. this thing's fucking yeah. great. Yeah, they're cool. He hasn't got tired of it yet. Joe, that's the hipster he thing actually, to have. I don't he care. actually I don't told care. us last week about it. But that's why we love him. Oh, did I? Yeah, I'm, but it's awesome. So I had, I had, listen, I, I, in the last four days, I had so many drugs. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even know yeah, what but you know what, Joe? What? I forgot about it, but I'm glad you brought it up because now I want to go get one. <laughs> I thought so, she was going to be like, because now I want some drugs. No, <laughs> I, I was. I wanted to say like, now I'm glad. Somebody Whatever, wants, Nitro. Somebody wants a link. Just just look up Circle with a K on on, uh, on, on uh, Google. They have a deal. It's yeah. like five bucks. You get one of these and two of the infusers. Uh, it's like a thing. And of course, they're going to ask you to do a subscription. It's like $15. You get a whole bunch of them. Um, nice. Pretty cool. Yeah, I, I'm not bored of this yet because I drink massive amounts of liquid every day. Just insane amounts. I go through 20 gallons of Poland Spring water every, uh, every three weeks. That's a lot. I drink, this is what I drink, like three of these a day, seltzer. I got to pee with as much as y'all are fucking talking about. <laughs> Segue for peeing. Segue PQR for seltzer. PQR Priv. 
Let's give away a T for him. I don't have three. A, I don't have Hit. a. I'm gonna take a piss sample. I need that one. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a shit. I got oh. that one. <laughs> Now, uh, T Priv, of course, the original T Priv. You know, we have multiple versions. I'm on number three here, but the T Priv is a great mod. Uh, they stuck with, I mean, they have to because of the whole lighting system. No, they don't have the lighting system on the original T Priv, but uh, they stuck with the top display. I'm still not a fan of the top display. I get it because you, as you vape, you can look right down into it and see what you're doing. But I've always liked big, honky, chunky front end displays. But with the newer T Privs with the light up, display and you can make a change and you can make it like rotate the colors all kinds of stuff it's kind of cool i but, want uh, it <laughs> these are built like a brick shit house like tiger's t priv 2 this is a t priv 3 both were built like a brick shit house so i'm assuming the t priv 1 is built that way as well um now who's giving this away this is going to be given away by some fucking body i don't know oh fucking okay cool this is uh, also going to come with a bottle of liquid Oh, cool. I think one bottle. Uh, yeah, one bottle. I'm assuming it's a bundle that they sell. Because they always give away a bundle that they're selling. Let me go over there. While uh, you check that, I'm actually going to go fucking pee. I'll be back. All right, thanks. <laughs> all right, so let's see here. What do they got? Uh, I love looking. No, if you go to fuckingvapor.com, uh, always look in the bundle area. It's my favorite place. Um, it's even better than a deal section, in my opinion. Because they always just bundle some... It's always a mod and a bottle of juice or a tank or heads or something. Um, now I'm looking for now they got wow they got three pages. To this um, okay, yeah, so they're doing the T Priv and 120 mils of juice for 69 bucks. So whoever wins this is getting a 70 dollar prize. Um, no, that's up on the a bit on the expensive side. But they do have um, they always have like a really cool bundle like they have this one here. Okay, so uh, if you go over to their bundle section, they'll have the I Just One bundle. Now, basically, the I Just One is like an AIO. It's basically a stick battery. It's, um, it's basically the size of an 18650. Uh, there's no wattage setting. It just it just blows out whatever uh, it's set to. And um, it has a tank built on top of it. You just change the heads. Uh, the tank does not come off. And uh, you get a bottle of juice and that for 24 bucks. Uh, that's a great deal, and that is great for uh, somebody who wants like a second portable mod because they're tiny. They're only about that big. Uh, or if you want to get somebody into vaping for 24 bucks, uh, that's it. They have everything they need to start vaping. They get 120 mils of juice. They get the mod. Uh, do they have different colors? Uh, they do. They have five different colors, six different colors. Uh, and uh, they're they're just a nice little unit. Um, the max output on these is 50 watts. So basically, it's going to be 50 watts pu uh, pushed to the uh, to the Addy. Uh, you can't control it. It's just going to always be 50 watts. Uh, and that's that. And then you can just buy, as um, Courtney calls them, changers. And that's it. Mm -hmm. It's a super simple system. Those are the kind of systems I really like, considering I spent $110 on an Ego kit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, mm -hmm. again, go to the bundle section. They always have a ton of shit. Um, they always have a, a, a deal going on with their juice. It's usually like uh, 500 mils or 400 mils for 60 bucks, uh, 400 mils for like 30, 30 bucks or something like that. And they got a fuck ton of juice, all kinds of stuff. Uh, the only thing is with them is you have to like sweet. Okay. Mm. So if you're into tobaccos or uh, subtle flavors, like bubble teas and things like that. You're not going to get that with them. It's, this is candy. This is bakery. This is, you know, really sweet stuff. Cereals. Eggnog. The nog. It was so good, it was terrible. Um, Congrats, so, yeah. winner. You know what the fuck to do. Yeah, please email yourself with the instructions <laughs> on what to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who won? Axel. <laughs> oh, oh, Axel. I'm sorry. I was I was talking. I didn't hear. Oh, congratulations, Axel. Don't you win like every week? <laughs> this this is the luckiest person. No, this isn't, and this isn't rigged either. It's just for some reason Axel is one of the luckiest. 
I'll, I'll tell you right. How many times have you guys seen me win? Once. Yeah, out of every episode. And you episode, were in the bathroom, so it didn't count. <laughs> how many episodes have we done? I don't know. Uh, let's see. A shit ton. Five years times 52 minus like 20, maybe. So, yeah. So, so like 230. Yeah. That's shows. like, that's like, that's like, that's more than Frasier. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, that's more than, that's, we're, we're getting into like, um, Seinfeld. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting into uh, uh, Stargate SG-1 size shit. Now, when we hit, like, days of your life size... <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm calling it quiz. Or meet the press. What are the, some of the ones that ran the most? 60 minutes. I mean, some Cops. Of those... <laughs> yeah, God. Simpsons has had a lot of fucking episodes. Yeah, yeah, when we get to where Simpsons and South Park are, and, and Family Guy... That's that we're talking some serious, you know, episodes. I still the can't average, get I, the average. All right, go on. Sorry. I was just gonna say I, I can't get over it's how freaky the shit the Simpsons have predicted. Like the fact that they had the shot of Trump as president on the escalator and it then it happened that way. Like, how the fuck did that work out? Have you ever seen that? The comparison yeah. between the episode which was they created have a YouTube video about way it. way in the past and then. Well, you know, There's it, a very easy explanation. So I'm going to hit this with Occam's Razor. For those of you that don't know, Occam's Razor is when there's doubt, the simplest answer must be the correct one. Occam's Razor says that the Simpsons are actually who runs the Illuminati. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> yeah, some people say macaronings from the future. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's. It, it, I mean it wasn't just him on the escalator. There's like even the where people were around. Like there's a lot about the episode, you know, the cartoon, and then the the real event that that lined up really, really eerily. And and that's not even the only thing they predict. They predicted some other shit too. It's just weird. It's super serial crazy. I just want to say because I know there's a lot of people on here that have re really bad backs and stuff. I bought the, I bought this thing before you say anything dirty. You could <laughs> You'd be amazed where dirty. I could fit that thing. It's um, unbelievable. <laughs> it's, it's for the fascia in your back. It breaks up the fascia in your back and on your legs. That would and break I, up a lot of other shit too. It, it would if you, you know. So uh, like I use it on like this on my back. And it hurts, and but I when I use it on my legs, I get. <laughs> she's, um, like, she's got black and blues all over the place. My, I turn black and blue, but it's because what it's doing is it's letting out all the toxins, and you actually like start to feel better. And it hurts, but I mean it's better than getting like everything hurts. So, but it's cool. So if you have that problem, you can use it on everything. Like your arms, if you have cellulite, use it on your back, your butt. Anyway, it's a good thing for your back. Give it a try. And honey, and later on go. we could do the magic show and we could make it disappear. That's oh. disgusting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How about I make it disappear up your ass? <laughs> hey now. These you can get on Amazon too. They're uh, fascia blasters or something. So it's great. Fascia blasters. Yeah, something like that. Just look up like fascia Don't get the ass rolls. blaster. The ass blaster looks very similar, but it's for an entirely different purpose. <laughs> I'm gonna take yeah, a shit. Yeah, great. So, anyway. I love how we're turning this show into like all kinds of weird promotions. <laughs> this is not a promotion. I know half the people on this show have bad backs. Yeah. If, if you were to say one's in the room for a bad back. You, you get about a hundred, like the whole, the whole, everybody would say yes. So it's only, it's only um, right of me to give them a tip on how they can feel better. I mean, we do all kinds of promotions. Joe's up there trying to fucking promote like the hippie bottle blender thingy. Hey, don't make fun of my hippie bottle blender. I mean, well, listen, it's not like someone pays me and goes, get like 80 people to buy that. We need, we need to okay. really focus on some U.S. vape promotions. Chuck, you could probably use it on that if you, if you, uh, 
Probably it'd have to be Does it work on at the time. But I guess you can use it on your, your deck. Hey now. Does it make you feel out <laughs> well, of this world, Chunk Courtney? Said, this is a giant cock. No. Does it work on hemorrhoids? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've never put it near my butthole. <sighs> So I don't know. Please give Would me it work on a sixty-year-old? Uh, work on anybody. S- Would it work on a four-year-old? I don't know, man. I hate this fucking Segway shit because I don't know what you're talking about. So you're time. saying <laughs> four by sixty? It'll make you feel out of this world. Yeah. And we can get back to some U.S. vape promotions. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So, uh, anyway, if you had a bit of USB promotions, they sell a whole bunch of different uh, brands of liquids. Um, now, which one are they giving away? Out of this world. Okay. Which now, apparently is custards. Uh oh. That's all you. I haven't tried them. I like custard vapes. I'm looking for the out of this world line. Because they have all different. Um, a lot of times, the stuff they give away on this is stuff they're just bringing into the fold. Which one did you say it is? Uh, out of the lo- uh, out of this world line. It's four sixty mils. I'm trying to see if I can find it. I'm ass- I'm assuming it's the one like uh, that's um, all right. The one that says Venus. Is that out of this one? Yes, uh, out of this world, like Venus. Okay, so let's talk about it. Venus is vanilla custard. Um, let's see. Uh, I love custard. Oh, there we go. Okay. Fuck custard. No. <laughs> no. I like custard. It's so it's so overdone. It depends who makes it. I've had some that are just stupid and gross. But then I've had ones I'm like, yeah, this is pretty good. Okay, so... Yeah, right this now. is some pretty good stuff, yeah. Okay, so, so far I've seen regular custard. There's, there's a there's a uh, peanut butter custard. Uh-oh. Uh, Mars is strawberry custard. Oh, that sounds like strawberry custard. Uh, Jupiter is a... Stop that scope. That was my ringtone for a long time. <clears throat> it's not the ringtone, it's the sound of you pounding on your desk. <laughs> my bad. Okay, and then they have Jupiter, which is a tangerine custard? That's, that's weird. actually sounding good. Because yeah. that's probably like a creamsicle. That is weird. I mean, I'm not against, you know, the weirdest sounding flavors tend to taste good. You know, I mean. Yeah, that's true. I've noticed that. Um, you'll be like, you know, you'll throw, like, remember when people threw in, like, cucumber into, you know. And some oh, of God. That, some of that actually works. Some of it. Some of it. I will never forget having to do the review on Ebola, which is a cucumber custard, and had to admit it's mixed well. It tastes like cucumbers and fucking custard. And I hate cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, but, but you know, I mean, it just weird, funky sounding uh, liquids. It's obvious uh, that, you know, it must be good because somebody had to taste test this shit. Now, you know, if, if they say it's, you know, blue cheese and tuna, it's probably going to suck. But, um,. But normally speaking, if they're if they're um, you know mixing odd flavors like that one, that tangerine custard, I think that sounds like complete shit. But I, it could taste amazing. Yeah, I don't know. You know, would you vape that nitro? Fuck yeah! Oh, there you go. It That's actually fun. sounds really good. It sounds like a creamsicle, but the tangerine's going to be a little bit of a sharper flavor, which will be nicely rounded out, theoretically, by the uh, custard. You would want to go with a more cream-based custard than an egg-based custard, because if you put tangerine on a egg-based custard, you're just going to get, like, sharp plus sharp, and it's going to be, eh. 
<clears throat> hey, that's a new juice flavor. Eh. Eh, by Nitro Back. All right, I'm just sharp. saying, sharp plus sharp doesn't work. Yeah, I, I, this is why I don't mix juice. Because I'm terrible at it. Think, you would think after so many years of vaping, I would know how to make some sort of juice. The only juice I know how to make is menthol. That's <laughs> gross, John after, Q. After that, it's all downhill. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, tonight, how many lucky winners and when did they get it? One lucky winner is getting 460 ml bottles of Out of This World customers. Okay. Yes, yeah, so let us know in the Mod Emmy group uh, how the tangerine customer is. Let's yeah. I get that. It's got to be like a creamsicle. It's got to be. I think the name is this movie. And the winner is David McBenge. Congratulations, David. You have won the 460 mil from US Vape Promotions. Please send an email containing your real name, your screen name, what you have won, which is four 60 mil bottles of Out of This World, to Axel sleeping on me. There it is. Winners at ModEnvy.net. Winners at ModEnvy.net. Everybody else, make sure you please go over and check out Per, 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 the fucking link in the room. ParadigmDistro.com. Yeah, now, um, here we go, where are we at? Uh, there is something I wanted to uh, bring up, because it's actually kind of funny. Um, so I was um, checking, I, sometimes I like to visit, I have a, a bookmark uh, area on my, on my browser, like bookmarks I did when I was a young vapor of like the places I bought juice from, and I never deleted it after all these years. You know, just, it's nostalgia. I'll go back every once in a while and see what's up with them. Some of them have closed, sadly, and many of them are still going. So I used to buy a lot from a company called EC Blend. Oh, God. And uh, so I went over there, and they revamped the site, and they've done all kinds of what? stuff. What? How the fuck is EC Blend still around? Well, back then, EC, back in the day, EC Blend was actually cheap yeah. compared to everybody else. So anyway, they have an area now. It's called Novelty Juice. So check out some of the flavors. They have black pepper. They mm. have they have butter. Yeah. Cucumber. Dill pickle. Ginger. Mm -hmm. Kettle corn. Pizza. Potato, uh, sweet potato casserole. <laughs> oh my just, god! I can't. And the best stop. one, and the best one, I think, is Worcestershire sauce. The uh, ones that really freak me I out. I love is, Worcestershire, but come on. Anything to do with a hot dog? That's like. Uh. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember when we did hot dog juice on Mod Envy with with Smokey? I, I remember. remember yeah, it was like. Disgusting. Pepperidge oh. Farm remembers. I think when that's we, before me. I don't remember that. Oh, this is a long time ago. We, uh, yeah, I think Fast we lost Tech, it. Fast Tech uh, was was selling beer flavored e liquid, and yeah. uh, um, so and was, hot dog. And oh no, I'm sorry, not uh, a beer, hot dog, hot dog flavored e liquid. So me and um, uh, Smokey were like, we gotta get this. <laughs> so so gross. he yeah. gets a, he gets one, I get one. And we vape it live on Mount Envy. And Smokey actually boiled hot dogs. Oh. Let the let the fatty hot dog water get cold. Vaped the hot dog juice, waited, and oh. then drank some of the fatty cold. Ew. <laughs> I'm getting no, nauseous. he didn't. Yeah, to <laughs> see which tasted more like hot dogs. And uh, the hot dog juice was terrible. It tasted nothing like hot dogs. It was not like saying that vaping a hot dog would be good anyway, but it tasted nothing. Like, it just tasted like, like, just an indescribable flavor. It's nothing like. I mean, maybe it's a Chinese hot dog. I don't fucking know. But it didn't smoker. taste like a you know a Jersey dog. And uh, so you can still buy it. You go to Fast Tech, you could buy hot dog flavored e-juice. Yeah, I've That's, never no. had interest in any savory vape. I don't think I've ever even vaped a savory vape in my entire five years. I just, <laughs> it's just weird. 
I don't know. I oh, can't. Uh, 5156 says uh, Smokey actually has a review on it. That's cool. I never saw. I guess I never saw the red. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's not pretty. Uh, but I don't mind trying um, dare juices. Just to go, no way, I'm vaping, you know, whatever, pizza or, you know, that, that one, that crab juice. Oh, come on. That's nasty. I hate crab juice. Crab juice wasn't that bad. Not compared to some of the new ones. They they really, you know, crab juice is mild compared to some of the nasty ones like the pink and the steak. And roadkill was even, roadkill tasted like uh, skunk, kind of skunk smell. I remember back in the day when we were on Nova Broadcasting, there was a bottle of crab juice that was steeped being passed around as the challenge juice. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, they used to do that. They used to have these circles of people that would give juice. I would never do that. Be in a circle of like 50 different people and you'd have like a 40 mil. Why do I keep saying 40 mil? 60 ml model of juice and you no, it was 30 bit. mils back then come on man this was carbonizer days and you would mail it to the next person on the list i'm sorry but 50 people somebody's putting something funky in it you know it's gonna happen yeah i would never do that we had way too much trust back then <laughs> it's well, true it was all the hosts back then so but still, you know, like, the, after he's... That's you know, like he, taking your meal back, like, eight times, you know something, oh, something's going in there. You know, it's like, you know, you're the first person on the list, and you're like, well, I'm never going to see this again, and you just, like, pour it shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <clears throat> anyway, so, uh... That's why I can't believe that fucking EC Blends is still around. I mean... Fucking Azure's not around anymore. How the fuck is he? Azure is. Still you know, Azure vaping uh, reopened. Oh, they reopened? Yes. Okay. I know they, they closed for a while. Yeah, they they uh, they used to be Blue Mist, and then they went to Azure, and then they closed for like two years, and then they opened up again. Nice. Stop talking about crab juice. I'm going to throw up in my mouth. <laughs> you threw um, up in your mouth a little? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, why don't we talk about some good cheap juices that are exactly what they sound like? Okay. And that's going to be I'm T waiting Max. for somebody. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm waiting for somebody else. To there we go. T Max. I put yes. my I put a I'm gonna put a bet down on T Max. Go. <laughs> I think that was know. the transition, yeah. Alright, so go to vapingwatch.com or vaping. Now, I gotta be a dick for a second. Why does T Max not make any tea flavored vapes? <laughs> I don't oh, know. we had some scope. What did we have the other day that um, was really? It was the fucking Earl Grey. Uh, no, it's um, chai tea. To, uh, remember Cloudwalkers? These guys. I'm pretty sure they're they went. Those were up, but... fucking good. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I just killed this like last tenacious tea. I, I, since they're out of business, I gotta hit the guy up and like, like hook a brother up with the recipe. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. good. I mean, I, I could, I'm sure I could sit down and try to make one. I'm just lazy. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's true. T Max should 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 have the T Max flavor, and it's like, you know, it'll be like a bubble tea or some weird, uh, whatever, whatever kind of. Well, I don't know if watch or or, 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 uh, or whatever, you know, uh, drink tea right. or, yeah, wrecker. Um, if, if, they have a specific tea they enjoy, they should make a, a, a juice out of it. Call it T Max.
tastes like a cake pop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chunk, I can't have boosted apple pie. I'll die. <laughs> it's like, oh, I forgot. <sighs>
Yeah, I'll probably, uh, you know what, I'll pull out, I have, uh, you know what I have? I have a, um, I have a bombshell. Oh, God. Just anything bombshell. that's, like, from the mouth to lung era with the, yeah. you know, small little air hole where it's going to take you, like, eight seconds to fill your lungs, you know. You know what I'm talking about, tight draw. A uh, bombshell mm. with a uh, Thunderhead cargo. That or I'll use the BAM. Mm-hmm. Just dedicate it to fluid and, and go with the original formula. Trust me, that's that, that's how I think you're going to enjoy it the best. Maybe I should pull out Charles. That's actually a good use for those old mods, is flavors like that. Because a lot of his stuff like was kind of invented in that era. Yeah. And, and so the, the liquid is really designed around that, in my opinion. You know, when you're designing a flavor for direct long it's totally different the amount of flavoring you use everything changes because the vg percentage is higher that changes your your flavor percentage so i always kind of look at that like how it's, it's just like music you know like listening to a mix on speakers very similar to the ones that were used to mix the record to get the same experience like what the artist intended well it's like that with vaping you know it's like the closer you are to the mod that the actual creator was using at the time, the more you're going to get what it's intended to taste like. So, it's an interesting way to look at it. Now, I just want to throw this out here. You guys missed a great deal if you guys didn't jump on this. Thing. I got a deal going, but it's over. It's sold out. The Smoke Tech Pro Color Mod. Okay. Uh, this is the one that has the uh, Majesty display, and it has that little kind of like shield looking. You can change the color on it. $19.99 from Volcano E6. That was such a good deal, because they're usually like 40 50 bucks. They had them like 19 bucks. And uh, yeah, it's gone now, but that's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. Just wanted to throw that out there. All right. Uh, don't forget, I have a. Um, I have. I know we have a few more giveaways, but uh, it's getting close. No, we don't. Oh, no, don't we have uh, missed up? No. Oh, okay. Missed up usually gives away every week. So. Uh, I think we started with them, didn't we? No. Let me pull back up the list. Double check and make sure. Continue talking. All right. So don't forget, guys. I have a. I have a uh, contest running. Um, and it's over next week. Uh, and it's for these. Um, I have it all in here, actually. They have been delivered. And it's for a pair of beautiful beats. Okay. These are the Solo 2 Lux Edition in the absolutely gorgeous Vapor Joe colors uh, of uh, silver and this beautiful dark, dark uh, red. Really, they are really, really beautiful. Uh, so this ends um, six days. In six days, okay. And then we're gonna announce the winner uh, the following, the following day on Hot Envy. Uh, to get there, you can just go to Vaping Underground up top. Uh, it'll say um, Vapor Joe's uh, Network is giving away. Uh, you know, have, have running a contest. Just click that over there, and you can um, you can join. Uh, there's only one prerequisite is you have to be a member of Vaping Underground. The rest is all kinds of different ways to add entries. The best way to get the most for um, of your entries is to do something called the viral share, where you'll get a link. And then if they click that link to go over to the uh, giveaway, I mean, the giveaway and sign up, you get extra entries. Uh, but you could do other things all, you know, every day. Come visit the blog, go to Vaping Underground, check, you know, follow me on Twitter, things like that. Um, but it only takes one to win. Because uh, I know many, many people have won with just one entry. Fucking and tiny. Tiny won 250 yeah. bucks. That was what? hilarious. I remember that. Yeah. And Nitro had like a shit ton of entries that. 14 <laughs> fucking thousand. <laughs> How did that work out? It's she always has won. the person who has won. <laughs> and uh, so it, it's, it's completely random. Uh, and uh, so we'll do it uh, next, next Friday. And these are beautiful. These are absolutely gorgeous headphones. I love Beats headphones. Um, I have a pair of the uh, Pro Audio DJ ones uh, that are made of like solid metal. They're really, really great. Um, this one, I believe, has a microphone built into it as well, off the little hanging thing. 
So you can actually use it to um, to uh, talk to people like on Skype or whatever. So uh, I like my bows because they have like uh, noise canceling. Noise canceling. Oh, yeah, and it really it's works. The best. It's, you flip the switch, you know, to turn them on, so the electronics kick in. And it's just like everything disappears. It's so yeah, weird. Yeah, you, you put me to sleep that day, remember? <laughs> it's really true. We were driving. We were oh, driving. Oh, that's right. We oh, the I put them on. I put them on you because you were, were trying to, to sleep. Vape uh, Slam or Vape Mania, and I was like super tired, but everybody. Was I gave you me. that, and I gave you a face mask, like yeah. an eye mask. And it just. <laughs> Is that the time he came? We took a turn and he came crashing over. It was like, I had Joe sleeping yeah. right here while I'm driving. Yeah. <laughs> I was laughing. And he was so out that he didn't wake up. So I just kind of went like. Because <laughs> you don't even know. It, it was funny. That They're was great. Really funny. They're all great. They're all, those headphones, though, are really good. The beats. Yeah. So um, anyway, uh, so that's that. So um, that uh, that's going to be a whole lot of fun. Um, now... Get over to vaping underground real fast. Um, there's so many damn posts. I can't find it right now. Two million forty two thousand posts on vaping underground. I'm trying to find one. <laughs> I didn't put one on because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We 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 we, uh, we understand. You're, you're yeah. Tech, you're, tech, you're, 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 you're I'm challenged. challenged in a lot of ways. I am. <laughs> I have papers to prove it. I'm, I'm a certified nut. But it's uh, okay. How are those chocolates working for you, by the way? Um, let's go. Um, okay. One went dead on me really fast, which kind of alarmed me. <laughs> like, I, I'm going to probably at some point, because I have that... Um, that kick-ass X-Star charger that can actually do a... It can actually tell you what, how many ma the battery can hold. It's a, it takes a while to do, because it, like... I think it fully charges up, completely depletes down, charges back up, or or maybe I have it backwards, but it does all of that, and then it, it spits out a ma number, so... I might run those through, because that'll tell me real quick. If, if they don't come near 3,000, then we know shenanigans. Shenanigans! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see, is that speaker now? That's not I'm, I'm looking for uh, some for a specific thing that um, I think I want to throw out there is that it's not. Uh, it's still there. It's still there. Uh, yes, sir. <sighs> um, okay, so um, since we have about 10 minutes to kill, uh, go over to Halo. Uh, and get yourself one of these. What is no, it? No, I'm not going to put an affiliated link in there or anything like that. You guys just go to Halo. This is the Aspire Gusto Mini. We talked about this many times, me and Tiger. Um, this is basically a pod system. Uh, this is their pods. It uses one huge pod. Uh, and here is the four mils of juice. Um, now, at one point, these were 29 bucks, and you got one pod with it. Right now... Uh, they're doing a deal where it's nineteen ninety nine. You get the free pod, and then they also include three free pods. Okay, and these pods, three of them are just like fifteen bucks. So uh, it's a really great deal because this is a really great little mod. Uh, and they have um, they have more now. When you buy it, just the mod itself. There's only two flavors: you can pick, uh, Tribeca or Sub Zero. But the three free pods, they have all different kinds of flavors. Uh, so. Um, for the price, it's just stunning. Um, and uh, I bought like three or four kits because, and I only bought the kits because it comes with the three pods, right? So I like Tribeca, so Tribeca comes with it. Plus, I get three more Tribecas, and instead of f paying fifteen dollars for three, I'm getting a mod plus another pod for an extra four bucks. 
Mm. You know what I mean? So I got these coming out of my ass. These are really great. Did that one come out of your ass? Yes, it did. And now the the <laughs> airflow on the, the airflow on these are a little tight. But I found an old school, I'm talking old school drip tip, where you can actually change the airflow on the drip tip. Uh, and uh, so you just use that and you get a little bit more air into your vape, and it works great. Man, fantastic. Show it again, please. You should, that you was should. not paying attention at all. See? Look how cute. At least I uh, admit it. <laughs> Now, oh, that is cute. Now, Tiger, the Sub-Zero, she can't get enough of it. Really? Yes. Yeah, the last, before they were on sale, she went out and bought, uh, let's see, uh, 10 three-packs. One, one uh, 30, 30. Oh, are those the ones you can change the the cartridge or something? Hey, just pull these out. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Pull right out. Um... And uh, like I said, they just work great. They, they take a, a little uh, micro USB and boom. All right, that's awesome. Hey, did you hey did you hear about that thing that Amazon's doing now? Uh, car access? No, what's that? Oh, yeah, they they uh, they'll deliver it into your trunk. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's great. Well, what? Well, Not because people, really. Well, because people, you know, there are assholes out there that steal your packages. Yeah. So that you give them this key, and they, uh, the, the, they will deliver your packages and put them in your trunk of your car for you. They also have a thing that they sell. It's a combo where it's a smart lock that becomes like your new deadbolt uh, on your front door, say, and then a camera. So you have a camera pointed, you know, in the house at the door, and then you've got the lock, and then the driver has the ability to unlock it, and then he goes in, he just opens the door, he places the package, and he leaves, and then the camera records the whole thing, so he can't do any shenanigans. So that's, that's yeah, like a thing that they're, they're that, doing now. Yeah, but we have that. We have that. We have. We just have cameras, so like, if yeah, and you just talk and be like. Move out of the way, asshole! That's, I'm calling the cops. That's my fucking package. With yeah, my put the package down, uh, or I'm sharing this to the entire neighborhood, and the cops will be looking for you. You know. You know what? You know what my favorite thing is too. When when they always show like an alarm system and a burglar, it's like broad daylight, and the guy's wearing like black. He's like wearing a black ski mask and a black t shirt, yeah. and he's got like the classic crowbar, and it's like. 12, you know, 12 in the afternoon and he's wearing pure black like nobody's going to notice he's uh -huh, uh -huh. in black with a ski mask on. That's you know? so stupid. Yeah. yeah. When they when they deliver themselves, which they seem to be lately not doing as much, like I'm only getting their own shipping once in a blue moon now, but when they deliver, they uh, there's a couple of neat things they do. They, they take a pic now of it to show you where it is. And also, when they're like an hour or two out, you can actually, a, a map opens up and it shows you where the driver is and it says like there's three people ahead of you. <laughs> it's really cool, but it sucks that they don't use that their own shipping for a lot of stuff. Like lately they've been doing a lot of stuff where it's another company and then they send it, they get it over to the your local post office and then your postman delivers. It's usually for the one day. I usually get them for like if I ordered it at or same day. Yeah, yeah, I the same day stuff, at, like, they'll, yeah, they'll use their own. Yeah, and they are raising the price of Prime. It's going up like 20 bucks, I think. That's still worth it, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, the great if you thing order is a lot, it pays have... for itself with the, with the shipping that you save. Not to mention we have a lot streaming. of cameras around our house, too, and they record, and you can talk back to the people. Which is bad, because if I'm on a freaking phone call and I want to be by myself, I, Craig could be listening in. <laughs> There's nowhere to go. Big Brother's watching. <laughs> you never see your nowhere that's safe to go. Dude, you should fuck with him, Courtney. You should be on the phone <laughs> and just and be like, "Yeah, listen, I'll meet you tonight." Blah 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 blah. Like totally. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and she would do that too. Like she's. I would put that past her in a second. What happens though? I'd leave in the car too, if so it would look lock. like it's real. Wait, what happens if they have that lock system you were talking about with the camera, and like you and your lady are getting busy 
within camera shot of that thing and he, you know they just walk in <laughs> well uh -huh. you would probably want to i know it's i know it's on film pick a place to get busy that's not in front of one of your oh cameras my God. Uh, i mean if you're gonna make a whole movie you're probably gonna want to use a different type of camera anyway one that doesn't go straight to the cloud well, I'm just oh, talking about. I would, I would recommend using an old school camera for the home movies. You know, something oh, not yes. internet connected <laughs> uh, would be my good advice, unless you want your shit out there like that. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying. You know, the take. You know, the the mood takes you. It just kind of happens, and, and like he opens the door. A, he he can see you. B, the camera now has a whole screenshot of your ass. Court would never go. Court would never go for that. <laughs> she, she, if she knows there's a camera, there, there's not. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> no way. She ain't down with that. No one sees my ass ever. <laughs> like even on a beach, I'm wearing pants. Why don't, you, why don't you wear one of those, those sarongs or whatever they're called? The, the, the I do, and I wear a shirt, and I'm like. Fuck all y'all. And I great. got a hoodie. Oh, yeah, because I'll have, like, my ba black baggy pants on, and I have, like, a black shirt on with black hoodie and sunglasses. Under an umbrella. People, and she's people like, are like, who's that? Because she's, like, she's got that ginger skin, so she'd get cancer in two seconds if she gets sun exposure. So, so when she goes on the beach, she's... All everything is covered, and she's under an umbrella. <laughs> it's like T Tiger. Tiger wants to dress well, up as like Bahama Joe. She wants to put me in all gauze, all that white gauzy stuff. Well, white my dad gauzers. has melanoma, and it, my you know I've had like shit mel carcinoma or what the fuck. It's kind basal of cell, kind of basal Sang cell. Sangue cell. Big basal cells, like under my eyes. So, and you have to get them removed. So, I don't want to, you know, my dad's like, it's bad. Yeah, her, so he's got <clears> she's got it face. in the family. It, 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 they're, they're, <clears throat> they're prone to it, so she really has to stay out of the sun. Yeah, like my face, everything. My face. It sucks. So, I would rather just wear all black and incognito, so people are like, I wonder if that's somebody famous in there. And I was just like, somebody bring me a drink, please, over here. All right, let me, let me throw this out to the audience. I have a domain name called vapors.email. Um, I was thinking, would, 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 would it be feasible to give away free email addresses to vapors, you know, with the whole, um, you know, web uh, interface, kind of like Gmail, but your name would be whatever it is, at vapors.email. Um, I, I kind of want to do that. And I kind of don't want to do that, but I, I don't know if it's feasible to do anymore. Uh, but it's you know, it's it's it's. I can see people liking it for because um, they may want to have uh, separate accounts for things like giveaways. So instead of sharing their normal like personal email, they might have like their screen name. John Q. Public at Vapors. Email as an example, like you know, and then like if he won something, that would be the email address he'd use. You know, I mean that would be kind of neat, I suppose. I yeah, know. you know, somebody says uh, that's a lot of bandwidth. <clears throat> well, I have pretty pretty hardcore servers. Um, you know, vaping under end gets forty million uh, hits a month. Uh, it's it's incredible amount of bandwidth this thing holds. It's like thirty or forty terabytes a month. It's crazy. Liar. Um, but um, I'm just kidding. No, it's fine. Uh, and these servers are big, but you know, servers aren't expensive. That they're not that expensive anymore. You know, you can get a really top of the line server for like three or four hundred bucks a month. Mm. Um, I don't even know what you're talking about, but yeah, all right. He's talking about hosting a website. Oh, I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm debating. I'm debating. And of course, how how you make your money is you throw ads in the in the. Um, the um, web, uh, you know, web area, and then uh, you know, you could sign up for you know deals and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I'm just, it's, it's just, it's been on my mind for the last of year, and I'm like, eh, I don't know what to do. Should have, I do have you noticed how aggressive some sites are becoming lately with uh, <clears throat> ad block detection scripts? That like yeah. a lot of sites now, it's just like, oh, you get no content. You got ad block. You're not getting any content. <laughs> now, well, if, you have, if you have 
Cloud uh, Cloudflare for your site, they have built in now. They have block blocker. Yeah, I think but that's, listen, that's a if lot of you, people are using it. Do you let anybody put an ad on your page? Like if I wanted to pay for an ad that says like call this number no, and tell be, Craig he's an asshole and for like ten thousand dollars a month. No, we don't do we only <laughs> We only you know, Craig's an asshole in his phone to number. Pay, nice. to companies and you can't sell any um, any herb stuff. No, 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 uh, nothing like that. I can only you think I was serious, honestly? Oh, I've got, I've got, I've got requests for people who want to do eight eight hundred numbers and sell insurance. And really? Oh well, sure. yeah, eight hundred numbers. Oh yeah, I got one hundred a one hundred. I need a mod now. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys anyway it's, it, it is midnight so uh we're gonna go i'll see you next week remember we got to do that giveaway for the pair of headphones for one lucky winner and um uh, i'm sure miss tiger tiger will be back it's just not the same without her yes no. just she, tell her we she said brightens, hello. she brightens up the show it's it's like it's yeah she's the she's the when she's fan. not here there are no we were actually really good tonight so there was no like I need an adult son, even if she was here. Yeah, she she's gonna I don't be know. We, it's we, the only show that no, we did better. good. We were good. We were better. We, we were, were I wouldn't good. say we were good. <laughs> we were good. I mean, we did get on a tangent of a giant spike dildo. Yeah, yeah. making it I mean, disappear. It's I mean, not, that's it's not a really roller. being Come good. Come on, <laughs> I'm that I did because. Of the of people, oh shut it! You know what? <laughs> I did I did it for the people who had their back. There's a lot of people on here that do, so shut it. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next week. All right. Till then, get the fuck out of here. Bye. It's my house, and if Tiger's you don't the- like it, you get the fuck out. Get the fuck off of my house. Get the fuck down off of my up! Get the fuck up! Get the fuck up! Get the fuck up! Hell, I like it. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. You had best unfuck yourself, or I will unscrew your head and shit down your neck! Fuck you in for a bitch start sucking. Bang! Don't just stare at it, eat it. Hey, where are the white women at? Cock smoker. Mike Douglas, oh Mike Douglas, you know Mike Douglas used to make me moist. Well, let's not start sucking each other's dicks quite yet.